Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Ugh, I also have a cat sleeping behind me. That's Mr. Wellington. And Alex is <laughs> right there behind me, soaking up the fire. We are freezing in here today. Mm. And I made a peppermint mocha latte. I steamed some milk. Oh, so good. All right, I've got a pretty fair size haul for you today. So I hope you're enjoying your holiday season. I know I sure am. And that's what we're seeing under the tree. This is all the food stuff that I need to get situated. More food, Ugh, so much. But that's not why you're here. So let's get started. I did sort things in some semblance of order. So we'll start with the health and beauty aids first. And I found these, now they're children's. Do you see their little fake nails with llamas? But I thought I could use a couple of the nails that'll fit like as an accent nail. I know, it's crazy. Um, and I think these need glue, which is okay. Uh, yeah, I think these, these are not press on. You need glue for these and that's okay. But I think come springtime, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with these little llamas. So I grabbed two sets of those. Um, just some plain ibuprofen. Boring. But I did find something interesting. We're gonna check this out. It's hyaluronic acid moisturizing cream. And it is manufactured for a Mary Beauty. I don't know who that is. I don't know who what stores this will be in. But I just want to smell it and feel it. So it comes, it's pretty watery, first and foremost. Oh, it's everywhere. It's a mess. It's pretty liquidy. So we're gonna put that over here and we'll use this to no smell really. We'll see how it feels. It's cooling. Hyaluronic acid, guys, on your face and neck. Actually, I will rub it in everywhere, but see how it feels. I can tell you it's very lightweight, and you're supposed to put that on and then moisturizer over it. So before I go to bed, I will put more on and moisturizer, but I just want to see how it's going to feel. And so far, so good. So that is just this small little thing of hyaluronic acid. There is a brand that I was using and I want to order it again. I just need to find it. <laughs> then I found, these are Kiss Gel, but they're the nail decals. So you can do like a French manicure with these and you put them on, um, it's like nail polish decal. So these are not stick on nails. They go over your own nail, but still, this is Kiss brand. This is a name brand. They had a couple different prints, but this is the one that I liked. So I picked that up. Then I found, and this is Flower Beauty, smudge proof vitamins C and E, and it is mascara and I think it's like an eyeliner, which I don't typically wear eyeliner, but let's see. So yes, on this end, we have mascara, not offensive in odor, also not a lot of product. And it does seem pretty dry. That's unfortunate. So the mascara is gonna be a no-go. It's really dry and crusty but let's see with this end and this could be why it's at the dollar tree come on get that off now this is like a marker tip and not bad at all i could actually use that for eyebrows that's a dark brown so we'll see what i can do it definitely is not going to work for eye mascara unless i yeah it's super thick and gloopy but the marker side I could use for eyebrows. So we'll, we'll give it a girl. We'll give it a go. Let's see what happens. Speaking of eyebrows, I got this. This is the Ioni brand Perfect Brow. And this is also for me. I really have been loving 
a powdered eyebrow palette and I got one. I ordered it from actually from Kohl's, but Sephora and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I liked it, but I thought let's give this a try. Now it does magnet shut, which is nice. And it comes with two shades of brown and then two of the lighter highlight shades. So we'll, the one brown is pretty light, which actually works out for me. But I'm not angry at either one of those two browns. I think I could make that work. Um, it's really soft too and goes on kind of creamy. So I like that. And I think that packaging is just adorable. And for $1, um, I would even use eyeshadow on my brows. I, I'm not that fussy. Now I will tell you it doesn't stick very well. Like I was able to just wipe it off. So just keep that in mind, but we'll be using that as well. And do I have anything else in here? Yes, I'm trying to keep my mess to a minimum guys. Okay, a couple more things I picked up. Uh, one, put my trash over here, is another lip mask. I loved this one. It says it's peppermint. I didn't get much of a peppermint, but it was very cooling and it was very moisturizing on my lips and it was very satisfying. So we're gonna get it. I grabbed another one. And then I found, this is Yes To Soothing Clay. It says, yes to a moment of zen with tea tree and sage oil mixed in a creamy clay to help calm and soothe an itchy scalp. And I will tell you, I get the worst itchy scalp in the winter time. I think it's just because it's so dry. I'm also growing my hair out. So, I mean, I'm not sure how far we're gonna grow it. This is how long it's getting. But, so I wanna try to make sure I'm treating it good. So I grabbed two of these to try. If I don't like it, I don't like it. They're a dollar. You put it on and you leave it on, looks like for three to five minutes. So maybe in a tub or if you're taking a long shower or something, put this in your hair. And there's a lot of product in here. So I am 100% sure I could get two uses out of each mask because I have short hair. So I grabbed these and these are for me, but these will be fantastic stocking stuffers, especially if you have like any younger girls, pampering is the name of the game guys. And for a dollar, and these are definitely name brand. Not that it matters to me, but, oh look, some more for me. I found them. These are the Friends Lip Balm, Vanilla Latte and Black Coffee. And we are sure gonna bust into one of these. They're both for me, so I can, we can do that. We have time, right? But I always wanna know when I'm seeing people haul things, Okay, don't throw your lid away. Okay, the lid doesn't stay on so good. So I would say put it on your desk, probably not in your purse. The lid doesn't um, go off very good. Okay, and this is a crank up, not a push. On it. Doesn't smell like coffee at all. But other than, you know, me, I'm not sure who would like a black coffee. Mm. It feels nice though. It's super creamy. Yeah, it feels good. I will definitely use these. Now the tip will be at the end, is it gonna dry them out? Cause sometimes I get like certain chapsticks that dry out my mouth, but I don't know. These are coffee guys. They're friends and they're coffee. And again, stocking stuffers, great stocking stuffers. Okay, ooh, now, but I'm gonna tell you these lids are annoying because it doesn't, it doesn't stay on. Like as soon as it leans over, they pop right off. So you definitely wanna leave it in a, like on a desk or something, which is fine. That's where I'll put mine. All right, now we have a little, I think this is it for Christmas. Just a couple things. I did find these. I'm not even putting them out this year, but they're adorable. I will tell you that I 100% already own these from the Target dollar spot a few years ago. Now, they were the skis, but they didn't have the detail here, which, oh, need to fix that, which is fine. I'll hot glue that back together. But these are adorable and they are wonderful on a tree, in a tiered tray, put them in a bouquet, put them in an ornament, put them on a, on a, on a wreath. Now, the one other thing that will drive me batty is they don't hang up straight. The string is off to the side, so I'll fix all that. But 
The bones are good, guys. The bones are good. And they are decent quality. For $1 each, absolutely. And then what I will do is put those in with my craft stuff so that if I don't fix them right away, so that I know what needs to happen with them. Then I grabbed one of these. And it is... It's... Um, lights but it's ribbon and i'm doing for my work party this weekend a cocoa bar and i thought this would be super fun to just light up and lay on the table and it's like a wired so you can kind of bend it and it will keep its shape and it does take the two double a batteries so this is a decoration for this weekend if i can remember i will take um some video of my coffee bar that I'm setting up and then it will be coming with me to the Christmas cottage all this stuff I'm using for the coffee bar I also got for the coffee bar these dishes are silverware they are the gold and clear I like these because they are very sturdy opposed to some of the other Dollar Tree silverware that you get if you can find it this 24 piece cutlery set it is definitely much more sturdy than some of the cheaper sets that they have. Definitely worth the dollar. So I'll bring this up, especially for the spoons. And then I'll take the rest to our Christmas cottage because if we can use plastic and we don't have to do dishes, I'm kind of about that life. Um, I also picked up just to have another sugar-free peppermint because it's Christmas and I love them. And... <laughs> I found more tissue paper that I'm probably not gonna open till next year, guys, but I'm obsessed. Can we please look at this holly berry? And I think that's eucalyptus in there. And then the red, and then this one, and you get 16 sheets for $1, which I don't think is bad. My stores have not gone up to $1.25 yet. I did ask at one of my stores, and she said that um, they were talking after the first of the year, as far as they know, but no, there's no date yet. And then I found this one with the blue snowflakes and then the fa la 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 because I love this. And again, 16 sheets. And I just grab these things because you just don't know if they're going to come back next year. And really, the, the four packages of these I bought will last me a couple Christmases since I used up all of my other supplies, which is was the plan. And then the last thing I got... For my holiday party, uh, my friend picked up the tablecloths that match this. So I grabbed plates, we're having pizza and napkins to put out for everybody. There's only gonna be, I think, seven or eight of us there. So this is perfect. You have 14 and 24. Yeah, these aren't the greatest quality, but again, we're just having pizza, so it's no big deal. So I grabbed that for my party as well. So I will need to put this stuff over here so I can stash it with the party. Now, how, uh, oh, Christmas. I mean, this is not technically Christmas, but feast your eyes on these. What the heck? Guys, I'm sorry. What? Excuse me back there, fireplace. The heck? Hot cocoa with marshmallows served here and coffee. They are the wide wooden ones with the warm light in the back. I'm sorry. I pulled the tabs on these. So they did come with tabs. If the tab is pulled, you just want to check and make sure. If it's not working for you, they do sell the replacement batteries at Dollar Tree. But I'm going to try my darndest to keep these nice for several years to come. Because these are fan-stinking-tastic for $1.00. We should put these on our thumbnail. What do you think? I think so too. Oh, I love it. I love the cool blue on the coffee and the red. Oh, I'm obsessed with these guys. So I grabbed one of each in my store. They must have just taken them out. I don't know. Okay. In the housewares section, I just grabbed some zip ties. These are great to have around and I was lacking them. Now, I would say the Dollar Tree ones, I wouldn't use these to hold up anything heavy, but definitely to secure cables and stuff like that, which is what I got them for, perfect. And these come in two different sizes 
and you get a hundred of them. And that's just a tool bench brand. Then I found these and I know they've had these before. This is the um, emergency flashlight. So it does work, right? But it's not battery operated. Hold them. This little thing pops out and you squeeze this and it gets you power. I know. And I'm just telling you, I'm putting this on my nightstand or near my bed because if I, if I lose power, you know, having this handy in my, oops, upstairs. I have flashlights down here, but having something like this handy and any little kid would love to run around and just squeeze this all day if you can handle listening to it. I'm just saying, that's that's fun times right there. Kids love flashlights, guys. I don't make the rules, I just report the news. Yes, something of that nature. I might have lost my mind lately, guys. Oh, oh, and one more house decor. Um, I don't buy these candles for the smell, but I did buy this because it's adorable. And it has this little wooden lid. I will burn this and then wash this out and use it probably like on my nightstand again to st store earrings or rings when I take them off at night, put them next to my bed and so I don't lose them. Or these rotten cats of mine take off with my earrings because that's how they are. But I think this is a, a beautiful packaging for a candle. And I know they had them in different colors and this will definitely go when I put my winter stuff out and I love candles. I'm kind of obsessed. I picked up some more walnuts because cookies and I don't need big bags of those. For my nephew, this is the last of the candy. I just wanted to make sure I got it close to Christmas. These are really fresh, these cow tails. And then I got him some Kit Kats and I will open these up, throw it in his little bucket, and then I can pack that away with the rest of the Christmas stuff for him. So he has a candy jar full of candy and some cash. And that is his Christmas gift. And these are cute because they're small. So they're like just one serving. And then these are the miniature Kit Kats. I thought these would be fun to put in with his thing. Now for my girl, Sarah, I found the Funfetti Pancake Mix. She loves pancakes. So I grabbed this for her. I thought I would bring it at Christmas time. And if she wants to make them then, she can. If not, she can just take it home. Um, and I grabbed two packages of them because I don't really know. I think you get four pancakes out of each bag. And it's fun fatty, right? So I brought these for her. I picked them up for her. And for me, the red hot wing sauce. I got this, which is the buffalo wing sauce. And this is just red hot, which by the way, Buffalo wing sauce is red, Frank's Red Hot with butter. Secret sauce, I just gave it away. Um, these are the perfect size for me to keep in my fridge. And Santa Claus might be bringing me an air fryer. So I'm super excited and I love chicken wings. So I wanted to have these on hand as well. So I grabbed them. I don't see them often there, but when I do, I pick one up. Uh, I think I'm, yeah, I don't have any more in my fridge. I have other hot sauce, but I like Frank's Red Hot because I like the flavor. I don't necessarily like the heat. I mean, I don't mind the heat, but I love the flavor. I forgot. I have one more housewares thing, and this is not, I mean, I'll use it, but what I got this for, um, if you saw my video on that laser engraving machine, I can also do glass on it, but I need to practice, so I wanted to get some, just some kind of cheap bases that I don't mind if it if it doesn't work that I can practice on that's you know flat that I can practice laser engraving on so I grabbed just one for now to try now I'm getting hot sitting in front of this fireplace I'm not gonna lie but we're gonna keep moving okay let's do some some crafting and then go into stationery um I found at my store and I'm shocked these are glass bottles, guys, which means you can store essential oil blends in here. They're glass. But what we're also going to find out, I'm sorry, sir, am I in your way? Is the, what you want to know is if the dropper itself is also glass. So if you don't know, essential oils can break down plastics and then you're getting chemical reactions that you don't need. So 
I store, I save my stevia sweetener jar, um, containers I get because they're glass and they have a glass dropper. <gasps> it is. Guys, this is perfect. You can 100% use these to make essential oil blends. Anything you want, they're glass. They are not going to pick up odors. They're not going to just deteriorate over time. That's pretty fantastic. If you ask me, clean them up really good. You can even use them for your like vanilla or any kind of extracts that you have. I mean, really get them cleaned up. There's not much you can't do with these. They're glass on glass. I'm shook that these were a dollar for two glass bottles. Look on Amazon, they're way more than that. And I have a bunch of essential oils that I'm, I stopped diffusing my, my essential oils because of Wellington and his asthma. So I used to have where I pour, um, drop it into the water and infuse it throughout my house. And I don't do that anymore because of him. I think it was aggravating his asthma, but I still use it. Like I'll drop it on wool balls and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm excited. I should, well, I didn't need more. That's my, my inclination is always, well, I should have got more. No, you don't need more. Look at me policing myself. I mean, you know, if I see them, I probably will get more. Um, I picked up just a couple of these. I love these white markers. I got a couple different ones. This is a white paint pen. It's a thicker mark, thicker writer. And this is a metallic marker. So they are a little different. This one has paint. And these are metallic markers and I love using these on black paper. It makes me kind of unrealistically happy to do that. So I needed some more because I was running low. And then I wanted to try this. Now I know it's a chalk pen, but I want to try it on black paper as well, just to see how it goes. And we'll see. So I grabbed those and then I love these pens. I got I get them every year. They are fantastic, fantastic gel pen. They don't last forever, but they're a fantastic pen. And I will be able to use these in my planner for several months before they run out of ink. And they're great. And I think this is silver and a really pretty gold in here. These are fantastic. If you see them and you like to color or draw or write with gel pens, these are a, a good buy along with these. These are two of my favorites right here. And these come out, I have the fall colors and then these are the spring colors. And I utilize these pretty regularly. I have a ton of gel pens, but I like these because they write a little thicker and all my pens, I know I'm crazy. They all have a different purpose, but I love these in the fall colors and then they have them here. And they used to come out with them in Christmas colors, red, green, gold, and silver. And I didn't see them this year. And mine, so those are another thing that you kind of have to buy every year because they do dry up but these are great if you're looking for some fun pens or even for like a gifting idea, which I'll give you here in a second. Something else new I found are these glass mosaic squares. So these are white or clear black and white in here and they're glass tiles. And then these are like primary colored ones. I didn't get a lot. But I'm thinking with a little bit of grout, you could make some coasters out of these on those cheap tiles from the hardware store. I don't, I thought I have some grout in the garage. If I do, I'll do that project. If I don't, I'll have to get some grout to, to do that with these. But I thought these are super fun little find for a dollar piece. And I think they had a different color as well. And I've only seen these at one store, the little mosaic tiles, but these can be a lot of fun to mess with. Um, I also got some Christmas sticker books because Christmas and this one here like killed me with the Christmas sweater and the coffee. Like that's it. That's all it required. And the cat. I mean, that's a fox. It's not a cat. Um, the dinosaurs. Yeah. Dinosaurs are great. And look at the little hedgehog. I mean, these are just fun. I love putting these in my planner and then I grabbed this book which is just different colors of bulbs and Santas and gingerbread people. And I will tell you a lot of the, the Target dollar spot used to put out tons of Christmas stickers and stuff. I haven't seen them in a couple years and I'm running low on stock Target and Dollar Tree. And I only really found these this year and it's fun. I have plenty of stickers, but they're just fun to have for the holidays. 
Um, I also grabbed one of these to try to do laser engraving on with my machine. I know it can do metal. I just don't know if it can do this specific metal. So we're going to find out. So I just grabbed a few things to try. Um, hello. What? Oh, ah! I'm so excited. I found two. And you know what? I'm keeping these. I'm going to make these summer gnomes. I'm going to do their hats like red, white, and blue maybe and play up on the stars up here and paint these to be like for 4th of July or just summertime gnomes because Christmas, you know, Christmas is here. Spring is not. They could be spring gnomes, but I'm feeling like with these stars, I could really, really play these up. So excited. I found two and that was all my store had. And I sure did snatch them up. And I I don't even feel bad about it. I'm not going to lie. Okay, now, this is something I've seen one other person haul. And I was kind of excited to find it at my store. They're now selling these stretch canvases printed. And I can paint this. And it does say coffee is always a good idea. And I mean, that's, that is truth in advertising right there. And it fits my life. So I can paint this up, maybe watercolor. I don't know. Just look at it, get some markers out, paint pens. I, I don't know, but it's going to happen. I know, right? Gosh, I was like my lucky day. All right, just a couple more things real quick and then I will get out of your hair. Um, they came back out with these little fake caboodles and for me, um, I do utilize these for craft storage, but I purchased this one specifically for planner storage, markers, pens, stuff like that to have. Um, the other one that I have, I'm storing all my little clamps in that I use for crafting, but I thought this would be good on my desk or in my desk drawer to kind of keep pens and pencils. But on that same front, I found, then I found these. And shock above shock. What the heck? Dollar Tree, are you killing me here? Double layer pencil storage? Um, yes, and travel pencil storage because whatever is up here stays up here on that shelf. And then whatever you have down here, right? Like what? And they had all different colors. So I grabbed one for me, I grabbed one for Sarah. But then I turned the corner and there was one in the beauty section. I was like, well, that's fun. It's like pearly color, but I'm like, it's heavy. What is in this thing? Dude, there's a mirror in here. It, this one is for make, oh, hi. This one is for makeup and you have a mirror. What? Think about travel. I wouldn't say air travel because this is kind of heavy with that mirror. But I will definitely put my makeup brushes and some easy, easy on the go makeup in here and take it with me on a road trip. So I grabbed, of course, one for me and one for Sarah. Now, here is my gifting idea for you. I got one in pink, but look at this planner. Is that not everything? It's just a jot, 2022 small little planner that happens to match this perfectly or any of them really, but I liked it with this one. So as a gift, a little plan, oh, it's upside down. That's not how we package things, ladies. The little planner, a little pack of pens. Like, isn't that a fun little gift? And then maybe like a gift card or something. I, I don't know. I just think that is pretty fantastic. I'm just thinking outside the box, you know? Little gifts for folks. Everything doesn't have to be big and glorious and expensive. So we did get three of those. Um, I'll give one to Sarah, probably the pink one, and I'll keep the 50 shades of teal and blue for me, it's fine. But that is everything I got today, and I hope you enjoyed. I'm curious to see when my store is going to go to the $1.25 and what new items they're going to come out with for spring. I mean, I have been locating a few here and there Christmas items, but pretty much it's wiped out right now, my stores, and they're not really getting good stock out. And I'm sure it has to do with, with you know, staffing issues and 
and all that. And I feel for everybody who has to work retail this time of year. So I'm not complaining. I'm just looking and hoping to find and it's all you can do. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a good one and have a great weekend and I will talk with you later. Bye.